Hello guys and welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Before we hop into these attacks, I am gonna... I uh, So, this uh, Thursday we have the Beast... Beastly? Beastie? I, I, I forget what it's called. The Beastly Crab coming out and it's way different than uh, our previous Mega Crabs in the fact that uh, it requires a little more skill. And I was a little confused when... Uh, when I heard about it first because honestly I was like this doesn't sound harder it sounds easier cuz uh, I was kind of misled by somebody and it, I, I I heard no attack recharge and I thought maybe the bases would be harder but like you had unlimited attacks or something but how the no base recharge works or the no uh, attack recharge is you get 40 attacks off the get-go and they don't recharge so 40 out of 40 so that means you cannot regenerate attacks and uh, also to make it a little bit harder there is no like boost to troops or no extra gumbo energy so this is like kind of just a regular boom beach daily event but it's mega crab I guess uh, but beastly crab anyway I was just a little confused at first and I thought you if you guys were confused a little bit I would try and clear that up but I'm getting excited I mean I'm I'm gonna be gone this weekend, so I don't think my recording of Mega Crab will be that much. But I'm definitely gonna be attacking because I'll be home and bored probably. Uh, but anyway, that is very exciting, and that comes out on Friday for most of you guys. But I think I get it Thursday night at like 1 a.m., so I might be pulling an all-nighter again. Uh, but I got class in the morning on Friday, which, huh? I guess I won't be feeling well that day. But anyway, we're gonna hop into some attacks. Um, I have a different, I, I've got a lot of, uh, dev bases to be attacked. I gotta turn this down, uh, because, uh, it, it, it might, I might hear it, but anyway, so we're gonna be doing warriors for the first attack, and we are, uh, I keep saying dev, no, base builder, base builder, we have base builder, but anyway, we're gonna use shock knuckles for the first attack, and I'll, I'll hop right into it. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what we can do. This base screams warriors, in my opinion. So, uh, I found it. It's a lot of rocket launchers and boom cannons and shock launchers. I don't have a gunboat energy boost. I don't have any boost going because it's just dev attack. Dev attack. Base builder attacks, but look at that low-level rocket launcher. What happened there? But anyway, we're going to throw down a box of critters, get them distracted, throw three smoke flare onto one of them and looking like we got to the first checkpoint second checkpoint will be a boom cannon 75 energy uh it's hard to see where my warriors are because uh we're gonna flare straight to the hq i think they might peek a little bit but anyway there we go we are we lost a few i will say just a few but anyway how are we gonna do this there's no smoke timers what the heck that's weird but anyway use shock knuckles hopefully be able to take this out where was the smoke timer are there no smoke timers anymore or was it just hidden hmm all right i guess we're gonna have to use more skill and uh we we have to retry that base man did they get rid of smoke timers seriously no i think i just had a glitch i'll look back and post and see what actually happened but it did not, I did not see a smoke timer, and that kind of screwed my energy placement. We're going to throw a barrage onto there. Uh, now I can see the smoke timers for that smoke, but was the boom cannon hiding it or something? We're going to have to use smokes. Okay, there it is. There it is. I didn't see it. Am I just blind? That That's a rhetorical question. But anyway, let's try and take this out. Two shocks, box of critters, a bunch of med, med kits, because med kits are cheap. And it's not looking like we'll be able to take this out. Man, this base was really hard. What would... I don't think anything can take this out, honestly. Boosted warriors could, with a lot of energy. But that requires boosting, so we're not going to do that. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's take it a step easier. Next attack will be all Zookas. And I'm going to hop onto a different base, so... All right, I kind of want to do a social <laughs> experiment here. Uh, I picked the wrong base. I'll be right back. 
Alright, so this base is what I was looking for. And this is going to require some skill on my part. I'm going to... Whoop. Okay, we're going to be out of bow bazookas. I did not mean to place them. Right as I was talking about skill. But anyway, we're going to do a flare to the right side. And then we're going to try and keep the zookas in that tunnel. We're not going to worry about our hero. But anyway, we're just going to try and get our zookas to walk through that minefield and not die so there we go got him kind of clumped we're gonna do a redirect flare right here and upwards oh it appears the tunnel is not big enough for my sloppy zooka placement but anyway we lost a lot we're gonna do a flare right there and then that should be the attack fairly easy we lost so many zookas that was terrible, but I guess that's good practice for flaring your zookas, landing them down, making sure that they uh, walk the thin line. But anyway, next attack, I am going to do all scorchers. I'm going to do the machine gun base that I accidentally clicked on, but I want to see if how, how well scorch, a scorcher can do against machine guns, see how, how long they can survive. So I'm going to hop right over there. So one thing about this base is it has a boom cannon and a shock launcher. So we're going to take out the boom cannon because we don't really care about the shock launcher. But let's see what a scorcher can do against some machine gun fire. I, I think a lot of machine guns is going to be able to take it out. I'm not going to use energy. I'm just going to see how far a scorcher can go in this attack. So it looks like it's about 60... 50% health right now, and it's gotten three buildings. Huh. So, look at that machine gun fire. Oh my gosh. But anyway, we're just going to spam the rest of our Scorchers, see if it's able to take out the machine guns and our, our hero, I guess. Let's just use all of our critter passive. Try and get that going. Low energy. The only thing we'll click is critter or not the critter passive the critter spam spawn because i have that upgraded to level three or four right now and i ran out of tokens so i can't upgrade them anymore until the trader comes back and i'm sad because i thought i had like unlimited because i didn't upgrade anything but then i upgraded a few things because i was like my heroes seem weak compared to christians i need to fix that but anyway look at our scorchers are gonna die actually yeah I said I didn't want to press a button, but I think it would be a good idea to flare, but I'm not going to do it. We haven't lost another Scorcher yet, but they're all going to keep going down. So that was two, three, within a couple second period, four. Look at that. That's actually insane. Anyway, 79 energy from our Scorchers, and we can just barrage the headquarters, and that'll take it out. So all Scorchers did take it out, all the machine guns without really any flares so I, I was kind of surprised about that one next one it's gonna be a quick attack because it's gonna be a lot of boom cannons I think I kind of want to train a ball rifleman because I'm gonna try something and then I am gonna place down rifleman and see what it does I am gonna try private bullet versus all boom cannons because that is good but anyway, let's find it. Energy drink. Alright, let's hop right into that attack. Kind of sad because there's one rocket launcher in it. So, how long can our hero last? I bet it's going to be three attacks. Oop. There. Let's keep spawning them. Two. Three. Three waves. Took th oh, he's still alive. How is he doing this? And he's down. He took out four buildings. Okay. That's worth it. It's all them boom cannons. So, uh, let's, let's use our critters and try and distract. Let's see how well we can do with all riflemen. I actually kind of want to take out that rocket launcher because that's a bit unfair. Three. Oh, look at this. Yeah, see that? It's a, it, they're, the boom cannons are one shot. Look at what the, look at what's happening. But anyway, uh, I would put a medkit down, but that doesn't work because Rifleman can't survive, so. 
But anyway, throw a couple critters down. We are losing a lot. I guess a lot of boom cannons versus riflemen is really good. You're, you're used to just ignoring them, but I guess if it's a base of all boom cannons, it's not that good. So we're going to do a flare to the left here, smoke them off, use a little bit of strategy. I'll use shocks because that might actually help me out here. But anyway, here we go. Let's throw barrage, two barrages onto the middle there. I don't think we'll be able to take it out. We're running out of riflemen very quickly here. Let's use another shock. Oh man, look at this attack. All boom cannon base, it's overpowered. I'd be able to take it out with warriors and all that, or smoky zookas even, and anything else. But I guess all riflemen with a little guidance is not that good. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here. If you guys did enjoy, drop the like button. Hopefully you guys are excited for beastly crab because i'm getting excited Oop, we got some energy left oh 208 knocked out that didn't work but i'm getting excited for beastly crab you guys should be too hopefully the 40 attacks will be dope because i kind of uh, i have trouble with managing my time when it comes to attacks uh i always do a bunch of attacks and then wait a long time a little too long and then i do it but anyway i'm gonna wrap it over here thank you guys for watching we'll see you tomorrow in the next boom beach video Bye bye